And Ali in Beijing, let's get a Ukrainian perspective. Yulia Mendel joins us, former media advisor to President Vladimir Zelensky, joining us live from Kyiv. Yulia, good evening to you. This is a phone call that President Zelensky had hoped for, well, almost since the very start of the Russian invasion of your country. What do you think Zelensky will hope this call will achieve? Well, thanks, Mark, for having me. Definitely, President Zelensky sees uh, this call and today's diplomatic decisions as, for instance, the appointment of the ambassador of Ukraine to China and the Chinese special diplomat that will come to Ukraine as a breakthrough in this silence that had, has lasted for a long time. As you know, Zelensky wanted to talk to Xi Jinping for a long time, and he gave the signs and talked publicly about that. So China definitely plays a, a huge role, can play play a huge role here. It's an important player. And the question that we need to ask, if actually China will try to play as a peace uh, a maker here, or China will play its own games. And also there is another question, actually. China is often accused in pressuring the freedom. So if uh, the country that pressures the freedom can help us defend our freedom. So, um, on one hand, we can say that we don't know where these negotiations will lead us. But on the other hand, this is a great sign that this negotiation started because President Zelensky and Ukrainian leadership knows that Beijing has a huge influence on Russia right now because Russia is under huge sanctions and pressure from the old civilized community. So we believe that China can help us finish this war and achieve our goals in this war to get the victory, to, to, to regain our territories, to return our people, you know, to return to the peaceful life. It's, on the fair conditions. It's, it's a month since uh, Xi Jinping was in Moscow with Vladimir Putin. I mean, clearly, uh, we don't precisely know exactly what was said there, but there are many hints as to what is going on and what might be going, into, going on in terms of how China is backing Russia. Do you think, and I know you weren't in on the phone call, so you can't tell us for sure, but do you think Vladim Vladimir Zelensky was seeking from China some kind of assurance about what it is or isn't doing to help Russia? Well, definitely Ukraine and Russia both are now trying to, you know, uh, uh, gain uh, these uh, uh, tighter relations with China to gain at least some kind of trust. Ukraine has not developed any trustful or reliable relations with China for the 32 years of independence. But right now we see this like a big sign. We understand that we need to uh, stay with like strong arms, cold head and be realistic here. Definitely Russia tries to influence the opinion of Beijing on what the situation looks like. But on the other hand, we need to talk, you know, we need to go out with our position and we need to explain what's going on here. The fact that uh, China sends here the special uh, diplomat that already had served as an ambassador to Russia can be also the sign that Russia will be helpful. I know that today both leaders, they share their vision of peace. Um, Chinese uh, uh, proposal is very vague and it's very open for interpretation. So maybe on the other hand, it can serve us as a, as, as a gap that we can fill with our narratives. But of course, a lot will depend on the fact of how Ukrainian counteroffensive will last and what Ukrainian army will be able to achieve. Indeed, that counteroffensive, when it is uh, launched, uh, eventually it is this is probably going to be the next uh, turning point uh, of this conflict but in terms of what china can do there was the 12 point p p peace plan yuli which uh, in a sense didn't please anybody on uh, anybody on the ukrainian side because it didn't really uh, have russia pulling out of ukraine which is what vladimir vladimir Zelensky, and you all want i think it's fair to say you want basically the old border to be re instated, including Crimea. Do you think there's going to be any progress along those lines? Do you think China can help with that? It's very difficult to predict right now how the counteroffensive will go. Ukraine wants peace more than any other country, but we want fair peace. And in fact, when we are talking about returning to the position of uh, being the 
Ukraine that was recognized by the international community in 1991, we appeal to the international rules and to international law. If these territories can be easily occupied and annexed and there will be no consequences for this and nobody will be talking about returning them, then all these rules that we have developed don't make any sense. So uh, let's be realistic. It depends on not only determination of our army, because I have no doubt in determination of the Ukrainian soldiers and volunteers. But, you know, we have noticed that there was the delay of weaponry delivery, and today the EU already, again, has not agreed on uh, joint purchase of ammunition, and Ukraine runs out of ammunition. So there are multiple factors that uh, influence uh, how the battle goes on. And let's see, um, let's see how it will go on, but uh, I must say that we have all the right to want all our territories back, and our army is very determined mind to regain Ukraine as it was, uh, as it became independent in 1991. Julia Mandel, thank you very much for giving us that, that assessment and analysis of the phone call between Vladimir Zelensky and Xi Jinping. Uh, thank you for joining us here in France 24. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Mark. Julia Mandel joining us there live from Kyiv, former advisor to President Vladimir Zelensky.